Hey guys. So with all of this distance learning going on, um, I'm thinking that maybe some of you have some crazy hair going on in the mornings, maybe some crazy clothes, maybe you're wearing your pajamas to school. I've seen some of the classes even dressing up in costumes or as superheroes. Well, today I'm going to read you a book and it's about a student and it is called Crazy Hair Day. Let's look at the cover. So at first I thought his hair was made out of crayons, but I think he just has it all spiky and different colors. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited to see what happens in this book. Let's see. By the way, this book was written and illustrated by Barney Salzberg. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. I thought this was a coffee cup in his hand. It's not. It says hair goop. Do you guys put any kind of hair goop in your hair when you fix it? I do. I put a two or three different things in my hair when I get up in the mornings to fix it. Let's see what happens in Crazy Hair Day. Stanley Birdbaum woke up early. Bald Eagle Elementary School was celebrating Crazy Hair Day and Stanley couldn't wait. They had celebrated Pajama Day, Twin Day, and 60s Day. Stanley's favorite was Twin Day because he and his best friend, Larry Finchweather, had worn exactly the same thing. Stanley was ready. He had rubber bands, he had styling gel, and to make his hair perfect, Stanley had two cans of Halloween hairspray. Stanley's mother knew just what to do. She wrapped, she dipped, and to make his hair perfect, she sprayed Stanley's hair bright orange and blue. Ta-da, said Stanley. I am a work of art. You are going to be late if you don't hurry, said his mother. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. I bet Larry Finchfeather and I will have the craziest hair in the whole school, Stanley thought. As he walked toward the classroom, he heard his teacher talking. And remember, Mr. Winger said, crazy hair day is... Next Friday, everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley felt sick. Larry Finchfeather said, is that a hair do or a hair don't? Everybody laughed. Stanley ran to the bathroom. A few minutes later, Stanley heard someone come in. It's me, Larry Finchfeather. The Larry Finchfeather who just made fun of me in front of the whole class? Asked Stanley. I was only teasing, said Larry. Some days you tease me too much, said Stanley. Mr. Winger said he wants me to try to be a peacemaker instead of a troublemaker, said Larry. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to bring you back to class. I'm not going, said Stanley. If you stay in here, you'll miss being in the class picture, said Larry. I thought that was next Friday, said Stanley. Crazy hair day is next Friday, Larry said. 
Today is school picture day. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. Larry Finchfeather suggested that Stanley try washing his hair in the sink. It won't help, said Stanley. Halloween hair color lasts for days. Well, it really doesn't matter. It's only your hair, Larry told him. If you don't come get out of here by the time math is over, I'm coming to get you. You can't stay in here all day. It was very quiet after Larry Finchfeather left and Stanley wondered if maybe he could spend all day in the bathroom. He ate his lunch, he drew pictures, he even timed himself to see how fast he could flush all the toilets. 32 and a half seconds, he shouted. A new world record by me, Stanley Birdbaum. Stanley had counted up to 121, 122, 123 drops of water from a leaky faucet when Larry Finchfeather came back. Beep! Time's up! Let's go! Larry announced. Picture time! If I'm in it, I'll look like the class weirdo, said Stanley. Remember 60's day when Mr. Winger had the flu but came in anyway, said Larry. He said the day wouldn't be the same if we weren't all together. You have to come. I'll give you five minutes. Larry Finchfeather left and Stanley Birdbaum thought about 60's day when Mr. Winger had taught them all those great songs he remembered how on pajama day, everyone in his class had worn PJs and slippers. Then Stanley imagined what his class picture would look like without him. He decided to go back to class. To keep from being nervous, Stanley made up a song. Crazy hair, crazy hair, how I wish it wasn't there. Stanley felt someone touch his shoulder. I was just coming to get you, said Larry Finchfeather. What if they laugh at me again, asked Stanley. Everything will be fine, Larry whispered. I promise. Stanley stood in front of his class. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. Can you make a prediction about what you think might happen on the next page? Think about it. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. Let's see if those predictions came true. Are you ready for the picture? the end. On that very last page with the whole entire class, did you notice that everyone had crazy hair and crazy things on their head and crazy things going on? Why do you think they did that? What did it mean? How do you think that made Stanley feel? I like this book. It's really cute and it has a surprise ending. I hope you enjoyed it too. Bye everybody.